Hey, it's Danny from Cultures Calisthenics here. So I wanted to share with you all why I completely stopped doing cardio all together. And on almost my whole journey of transforming my body with calisthenics, which is just over a year ago, I stopped doing all cardio completely. But then about, let's see, since around May time of this year, I started doing cardio around three times a week, where I would get on a treadmill, have it on the highest incline, so it's up as high as possible, uh, in case people don't know what incline actually means, so I know some people don't. And I would do it at a moderate speed, normally around 2.5, and then end with 3.5 kilometers. And I'd do it for around 30 to 40 minutes. And the reason why I actually embarked on that journey of doing cardio after not doing it for so long, was because I wanted to reduce my body fat percentage even more. Even though I had still around an 8% body fat, I just had that desire for less, to get even more of a ripped muscular physique. And yeah, it worked very, very well. It helped reduce my body fat percentage quite more. And yeah, it gave me the exact results I desired. But as I was aware, when you start to get to a relatively low body fat percentage, it starts to mess up your hormone production and has a negative impact on your health holistically. So yeah, I started to realize around a month ago, or yeah, maybe a bit less, a bit more, I can't remember exactly, but around that time scale, that I just started to not feel so good. And I mentioned that I stopped eating one meal a day. And that was definitely one of the factors why my body didn't want to eat one meal a day anymore, because it didn't want me to sacrifice any more additional body fat. Because when you're fasting, the longer you are in the fasted state, the more body fat percentage you burn. And obviously, with eating one meal a day, you normally fast around 23 hours or so every single day. So yeah, it's a good survival mechanism that's in place because, yeah, your body doesn't want you to drop to a very, very low body fat percentage where it affects you in a negative way. So when you get down to a certain level, it will start to not make you feel so good and it will give you a desire to eat more food more frequently. And that's what happened with me. But I ended up resolving that and I stopped doing all of the cardio completely, which is then maybe be able to go back on one meal a day. Alongside it also reducing the stress in my life because I was noticing I was having a lot more stress in my life than I normally had done. And I also had to change a few other lifestyle factors that was making it hard to stick to one meal down. I'll talk about that more in a video, which I'll put a link for up above in case you haven't checked that out. But yeah, obviously most people aren't in the type of situation that I was in and having a very low body fat percentage. And like, as you can see still now, there is hardly any body fat on me whatsoever. You can't even actually pinch it here. It's so low. So yeah, I'm now at a slightly higher body fat percentage, which I'm completely happy with. And I knew that going down to a certain level of body fat percentage is not sustainable, but I wanted to do it for certain video footage and also photo footage as well. And I will do this again in the future, but I don't feel it's necessary for me to do it at the moment. I'm trying to eat as many calories as I possibly can with one meal a day. And I'm having a lot more fat in my diet because I feel that that's necessary. I'm bulking up for the winter season here in Thailand. And I'm really, really enjoying eating more additional fat in my diet and also a lot more calories as well. And I'm feeling really, really good from it. But yeah, obviously, if you are someone that is not in my situation, which most people won't be, and you want to lose more additional body fat percentage as rapidly as possible. You want to be doing cardio on a regular basis. And I was actually doing calisthenics normally four times a week and then normally doing cardio three times a week, sometimes two times a week. But I was making sure that it was steady cardio that wasn't too much for my body to not be able to recover in time when I get to my next calisthenics training session because that's what you need to be very careful of. I used to do this a lot in the past because I've exercised with all different types of things such as running, cycling, calisthenics, bodybuilding and various other different things and you've got to be careful of pushing yourself too hard. So for a lot of people that don't have a high level of fitness it could burn you out if you're training too often. So what I was doing was with the cardio sessions, it was just an active rest day. It was a steady pace that wasn't too hard for me so I could recover in time and not burn myself out completely. So that's something you want to be massively aware of. And yeah, no matter what training 
you're doing, unless you're already doing some cardio based exercise or regime, then you want to be incorporating it in to your weekly workouts. And there's a lot of people that message me and say that they do no exercise whatsoever and they're trying to lose weight with intermittent fasting, whether it's two meals a day or one meal a day. And yes, it can work, but you're not going to get the weight loss results as quickly as possible. And to be honest, it's going to affect you in a negative way, short term and long term within your mind and body holistically with your health as well. And also your hormone production, it's going to have a negative effect on your sleep. So yeah, we are not meant to be sedentary human beings. We are meant to be moving around and being active. And it is shown that like sitting for long periods of time has a whole host of negative effects on you. And it's actually been shown through scientific research to actually stop you getting the full benefits of the exercise that you may be doing on a regular basis. So you want to be making sure when you're sitting down as well that you're moving around every hour for at least five minutes or so. Do some star jumps or what some people call jumping jacks or just do something that is moving around. Maybe it's yoga or something else. But yeah, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here. So let's get back to the topic at hand. So yeah, for now, I'm not going to be doing cardio. Like I said though, I will definitely go in the direction of doing it in the future. But I'm still doing things on my active rest days. So about three times a week, including my calisthenics, which I now do about 50% bodybuilding with it. So it's about a one-to-one -one ratio of each combined because I wanted to increase my muscle mass even more and it's definitely working. I'll be posting some videos in the future showing the changes with my body since I started adding in some bodybuilding compound exercises and other various different exercises. So yeah, on those active rest days, I'm normally doing dead hangs, three rounds of those with two arms and then three rounds doing it on my right arm and then also on my left arm, trying to do it as long as I possibly can. I normally throw in some yoga stretching moves as well. And it just helps me just flood the body with a lot of oxygen. It stimulates my lymphatic system. It gets my body to release an abundance of endorphins and other feel-good hormones. And it just makes me feel good because I find if I'm just lying around all day, unless I am so drained that I really need to not do even active rest, it will just make me feel absolutely awful. And you can get into this habit of not feeling like you want to exercise. And the less you exercise, the worse you feel. So then the less you're drawn to go and get up and move. But I found a lot of time when I actually get up and push myself up out the door and stop being lazy, I do the training. I feel that I've succeeded with really getting myself to do it. And I feel really, really good about it. And I normally feel way energized and just so much better within my mind and body holistically. So yeah. And one last thing I'd like to add as well is that if you're doing your training in the fasting state, it's going to give you even greater weight loss benefits because all the benefits you get with fasting, such as human growth hormone production, skyrocketing testosterone, glucagon production going up, insulin going down, it increases all of those benefits when you're training in the fasted state. So yeah, if you want to get the quickest weight loss results possible, combine them together and it's going to give you the best results for helping you get the body that you truly desire. And something I forgot to add is I just feel way better doing what I do on the active rest days in comparison to when I was doing the cardio. And to be honest, the workouts that I do four times a week with bodybuilding and calisthenics combined, I sweat so much and it burns so many calories and my heart rate goes really, really high. It's like high intensity interval training, but with calisthenics and bodybuilding combined. So yeah, from the training I'm already doing and eating one meal a day and the supplementation and everything else I do, it helps me to easily sustain and maintain a low body fat percentage whilst having great muscle mass overall as well so yeah i'm absolutely fine for that and i would definitely like to compete in some men physiques competition especially when i go to america next year so i can really promote the message of veganism and one meal a day and all the other things that i'm passionate about as well so yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down i don't mind and we have a very very loud plane trying to get in on the show and interrupt it the third world issues of a YouTuber, which I definitely never appreciate, but yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. So there's no point in complaining about it. It's just one of those things and before you know it, it's gone. And yeah, please make sure that you share this video with other people you think may want to hear about why I stopped cardio and some things I've stated around this whole process. 
And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis where I'm talking about my own journey with calisthenics and bodybuilding, one meal a day, my life that I share with you as much as I can on here, what I do in a day, what I eat in a day, and many educational videos on one meal a day, intermittent fasting, calisthenics workout, and progression videos. If those type of videos sound good to you, click that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded, and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.